every Christian is looking forward to the return of Jesus Christ in an event called the Rapture. But what is the Rapture? When did Jesus say it would happen? When did Paul say it would take place? And what clues did the ancient Hebrew prophets such as Isaiah, Joel, Amos and Malachi say about the end times that agreed with the words of Jesus regarding the timing of the rapture? And what about the early church fathers? Some of them were the disciples of the disciples. What did they say about the Antichrist and the return of Jesus? Will the final seven years be the day of the Lord, also known as the wrath of God? Or did Jesus and the prophets and the apostles point to another time? And immediately after Jesus' death and resurrection and ascension, when did the early church believe he would return? All these questions and more are answered in my new book, The Rapture. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching and God bless you. I'm going to talk to you about Jesus Christ and his death on the cross and what it can mean for you today. When Jesus Christ died on the cross 2,000 years ago, he willingly took from God the punishment for your rebellion, the punishment for your sins. The Bible says, how shall we escape? if we neglect so great a salvation. It also warns that it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. I don't want you to fall into the hands of the living God that way. I want you to know Jesus Christ and his forgiveness. To neglect God's offer of forgiveness is to spit in the face of his son Jesus and say, I don't need your forgiveness. I don't need Jesus to take my place. To do that, my friend, is the most foolish, rebellious, wicked thing you can do. For in doing so, you sign your own sentence. You sentence yourself to spend eternity paying for your own rebellion in a fearful place the Bible calls the lake of fire. Now, you can laugh at this now. You can sneer. You can say that'll never happen. My friend, prophecy is coming true and it will happen as sure as the sun rose today you have an appointment with God and no matter what you say no matter how you laugh or you disbelieve me you will be there you will be there in the court of God where you will be sentenced for all eternity but the Bible says today is the day of salvation Friend, now is the moment for you to leave the past behind. Come to Christ for new life. He waits for you with open arms to receive you, to hear you say to him, Forgive me and change me. Come into my life, Lord Jesus. Now, look, I'm going to pray a short prayer. It isn't magic. It's a simple way to help you if you've never prayed or you don't know what to say. Do you know, prayer is simply talking to God, being honest with him. So as I pray, if you really want to become a Christian, to become a new creature, to have a new life, to have your past forgiven and to follow him from this day on and to know that when he returns, he will come for you as your friend, your Lord, your King and your Saviour and not as your judge, sentencing you to that awful eternity of the lost, but rather to take you home with him. If you mean business with God, Please just follow me in this simple prayer, but only if you really mean it, okay? Please say this after me. 
Lord Jesus, I don't understand everything about the Bible, but I believe you died on the cross for me. And I believe that when you died, you took my punishment. Lord Jesus, I am sorry for my sins. Please forgive me my sins. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Change me from this day on. Lord, I receive you now into my heart. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for dying for me. I look forward to the day I see you face to face. Please help me to follow you from this day on. For I ask it in your name. Amen. Friends, if you prayed that prayer and you really meant it, please write in, just give us a, a comment underneath the video and let us know. I really would appreciate you contacting us. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do so. Please look out for the books. I pray that you'll enjoy them and that they'll help you. Thanks again, friends, so much for watching. I'll speak to you soon. God bless and thanks again.